guys, welcome back. I know it's been a little bit since I've made a video, but with the Thanksgiving holiday and Christmas coming up, we're pretty busy, so this is about the only time I've been able to do something. But I've got an interesting video for you today. Since I uploaded my last video, which was our ice fishing adventure from last year, I guess it was almost more than a year ago, I had a company reach out to me. Uh, it's a company called Deer Fammy, D-E-E-R-F-A-M-Y. So Deer Fammy, Deer Fammy has reached out to me and they sent me a ice fishing shelter to take a look at. So I feel they did send, <clears throat> they did send me this thing for free, but I feel like I can be a little objective here since uh, I already have one of these. It's a Eskimo 949i. So what I'm gonna do is unbox this guy. We'll take a look at the setup and whatnot and you know, it's features and, and whatnot. And then, um, you know, we'll look at the construction and whatnot. I keep saying whatnot. And then what I can do for our next video is actually compare this one to the 949i uh, from Eskimo. So let's go ahead and check this thing out. And uh, yeah, so let's get it open. I have not opened this yet. So I have no idea what this looks like. The packaging, it's just a box. Looks like they've had to tape it a few times to keep it shut. Here is the Deer Fammy bag. And uh, it's a bit different than the Eskimo, whereas, uh, and I was gonna compare them later, but the Eskimo opens up at the top and this actually has carry handles here and then a zipper all the way across the top of it. And then it doesn't actually, I guess it does, so. There's the uh, branding on the one side, and then it just has like a little picture of the hut there. So let's go ahead and get it open. So the bag is not as thick as the the uh, fat fit or the uh, Eskimo, and the zippers definitely not YKK. So this is a ground sheet actually, um, which the Eskimo did not come with. So that's kind of nice. And then there's a bag. And it has some hooks some ropes and stuff. I'll show you that here in a little bit. Um, there's a little like cargo net for the top of the inside. Let's see. User's guide. We don't need none of that. All right. So here it is, there's one, I guess there's a pole there. Oh, this is just to cover up the feet, it looks like. I'm just gonna move this out of the way. 
So this is their insulated, like their bigger one. Um, it's definitely not as heavy as the Eskimo. It seems like the insulation is not as thick. Um, but let's go ahead and open this up. There's a little strap there to hold it together. So it's almost a clone of the Eskimo. stuff out of the way. I guess we need to I'm just gonna roll this around the yard I guess. It's not quite a clone of the Eskimo because uh, it is much easier to open up. All right. I, uh, hmm. This is definitely not as intuitive as I would have thought. Okay. All right. I'm just gonna. Wow, this is, uh... oh, this is the side. Okay. Here we go. Okay. All right. We're getting it. All right. Okay. Did we get it all? I think so. Okay. All right, I'm gonna grab the camera here. We'll get a little more close up. So, it's definitely not as easy to pull open as the Eskimo. Um, Definitely not as many windows. There's only two. Um, but there's like a little stitching there, but I'm not sure what, I think this is to hold the door. Yeah, so the doors don't roll up. You just Velcro them open. And plastic window. There's a vent up here. And then looks like some of the insulation sticks out. But it's definitely not as thick, like I said, as the Eskimo, but. And then there's another door on this side. And then again, there's a Velcro to hold the door open. All right, let's go inside. It's definitely large. The Eskimo is pretty big. I think this is probably the same size. So, like I'm a six feet, I got another foot in the center. And then at the side wall, you know, my head's hitting right at the top. 
so there are some windows there's only two windows one here behind me and one here on the same side as the doors so door window door window and then you can see those little vents like this one I opened up there let's open up one of these windows and then they these do roll up and they have a little tie thing can't do it with one hand but um, just plastic windows so I think from what I remember I ought to get the Eskimo out but the windows in the Eskimo you can actually open the plastic as well I believe I can't remember we'll pull that open so up in the corners there's like a little oh these this is for the net so there's a gear net let me grab that okay so you're probably not going to be able to see this but i guess that's not for this so this thing oh maybe it is hmm not sure exactly how this works it looks like it can go up in the corners like so and then these go in the little hoops actually I'll just go maybe you can see it better if I do this on the other side so you can put this thing Oh, there's the little mishap there. I'll show you that. It looks like this cargo net only goes in one spot. Because those little loops are only on this side. So. So there's a little... I don't know if you can see that not really but there's a cargo net right here so you can put some things there's the cargo net it only goes one way on this side because there's no hooks like that in these other corners I wanted to point out I just noticed this so they have this like stitching that comes across here and then it looks like it does keep going but they have like an extra piece hanging there and then there's just some thread there so but the poles are not like super they seem like uh, fiberglass they're not super heavy we'll see we'll take it out to 11 mile reservoir it gets really windy up there we'll see um, there is a pocket here too as well and a pocket here so let's grab the floor and uh, set that up this is going to be kind of hard to film here but the here's the floor and uh, Max stop it it doesn't look like there's like any loops or anything to hook this into I think you have to run the stakes when you run the stakes into the ice um, so we'll just kind of lay it out so yeah um, you have to run some stakes uh, through there but it's basically just a basic tarp but the difference here is this actually has a floor that you can open up 
for when you are fishing. Uh, and it's on both sides. So where I am right now, there's another one of these and that it opens all the way uh, like a big rectangle. So you can have two, maybe just a hole there and somebody sitting there. I don't think you could have, I suppose you could have two holes, but like this one opens up right here. You can see that one. I'm not sure. I mean, I guess if you're by yourself and you wanna like maybe sleep in here or something, um, but uh, I don't know, I guess it's kind of nice to have a ground sheet. This might be nice uh, if you go hot tinting maybe uh, and you want to uh, hint, hint, turn this into a hot tent, you can open up, you can use this floor in the snow, open that up and have a stove. So the stove's not sitting on ground sheet. So this is one thing that the this does have over the Eskimo is the Eskimo does not come with one of these and I haven't been able to find one separately for sale. So this just comes with it for the price that you pay and then there's a couple other more accessories. So there's a couple more things. So this is the bag for the steaks and whatnot. So Can get one out of here. Here are the screw stakes. They come with little covers and then they do give you rope to tie it down with which is nice. And then these are really cool. So this is something that again the Eskimo they do make these but um, the Eskimo doesn't come with them. I know it's kind of a silly little thing but these our little hooks so you can hang up gloves, jackets, lamps, stuff like that. And then you just hook these onto the tent. So let's. So you see the the pole here and these you can connect there. And then again, you can hang your jacket to dry off or gloves. Um, you know, hang up lamps, lights, stuff like that. Since this is kind of dark uh, when you close it up because there's hardly any windows. So again, these windows just roll up. And then there's a little keeper there. So I do wish the plastic would open um, or if the window, well, that and I wish the window would be bigger. Um, there are the little vents. You have to get to the vents from the outside. There we go. So these little vents, you have to do that from the outside. It looks like the stitching in there is really coming apart. I mean, all in all, it's not bad. Um, the insulation, I mean, they say it's insulated and you can kind of see it um, like when you look at the vents, you can see the cotton insulation that's in between. But uh, it's not thick at all. Like, it might as well not be insulated probably. Because, like, I can touch my fingers through the, through the fabric. So it's not, I don't know. We'll see how well it holds up. Um, we'll have to test it out so it's not quite ice fishing season around here in Colorado yet. Uh, there's a couple of lakes that have some ice, but, um, you know, we, so our last trip that you saw in our last video was 11 mile and it was windy and freezing. And, uh, you know, even with the, uh, hot tent, we had our little buddy heater and it was 
plenty warm. So I'm sure this will do fine. I'm just wondering how well, you know, these do against wind because it's not like the sturdiest thing I've ever seen, but I don't know. I, I guess it's not any different than the Eskimo, but we'll have to get out the Eskimo in the next video. All right, guys, thanks for watching the initial impressions and the unboxing of the Deer Fami ice fishing hut. So my initial impressions, the construction's pretty good. Again, there's not really much too wrong with the stitching. There's a couple of little weird things, but other than that, it looks, it looks fairly sturdy. So we'll have to see if it holds up in the wind when we go ice fishing. I know I'm gonna get the question, is this waterproof? No, it's not, I would say, I don't think I've ever seen a ice fishing tent that is waterproof. So if you did want to take this out camping for whatever reason, uh, you'll want to put a tarp over it. Make sure you stay tuned. I will do a comparison between this Deer Fami and the Eskimo 949. They're very similar in size. So I think that'll be good to see what the name brand versus something like this on Amazon would be. If you have any questions, for me, please leave them down in the comments below. I'd be happy to uh, answer anything about this. Again, I haven't taken out fishing yet, so you can't ask me too much, but uh, you know, if you have questions on the setup or anything, just let me know. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Please hit that like button, hit subscribe. If you find this video helpful, share it with your friends. And uh, yeah, we'll see you on the next one.